and they're in a boat with a number of divine personages. It's that boat that will eventually take the king in different forms of that boat that will take the king through the 12 stages or the 12 hours of the night. The symbolism of a boat on the water demonstrates the consciousness being led through our mysterious interaction with the flow of time, through the landscape of the duet. Through the hours of the night towards its conclusion, a new dawn and a new day. Here, the constant flow of time is symbolized as a river which gently, inexorably leads the inhabitants of the boat through the stages of transformation. The, the Christian conception of hell with all its demons and its hellfire is in all likelihood derived from the, from the Egyptian, but the Egyptian didn't go into, didn't revel in all the details of the smell of the roasting flesh and the pain of the hacked bodies. Rather, they were expressing basically what the Egyptians were doing was, was say it was, declaring that the souls of those who hadn't done their inner work or who obstructed those who were trying to do their inner work ended up in oblivion. In other words, their names, their identities were obliterated. They weren't consigned to the roasting flames of hell forever, but rather non-existence was considered punishment enough. having a picnic shit in my car. Please, man. I'm not getting my sex at home. Don't don't deny me this. What are you talking about? You sleep with a beautiful woman every night. I'm mad. That's what married means. It means you sleep together, but you can't get none. Why are you watching with all that shit, all right? Hey, look. Where, 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 where's your cup holders? I don't have one. You mean you don't have one? Eighty thousand dollars for this car, and you ain't got no damn cup holder? It's a hundred and five thousand dollars, and this happens to be one of the fastest production cars on the planet. See with the sixteen four seconds, sweetie. This is a limited edition. You damn right it's limited. No cup holder, no back seat, just a shiny dick with two chairs in it. I guess we the balls just dragging the fuck along. Oh damn. Sorry. Get it. You see, I can't get down there. You got an engineering floor up in here. My shit ain't going down. I've been there. Let's go. Titty, titty, strutty, strutty. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. You know what? I ain't your wife to be cleaning up after your little filthy You watch ass. my hand, okay? My shit can't get down there. And when it does, it gets stuck. Now, what do you come up with? You got this shit. No, you, you gonna get that fried. Look okay. how This ain't no ass. goddamn Denny's. Don't eat in my... I wouldn't be buying no shit from Denny's anyway. I don't like the way we've been treated. Let's get this food. Yeah, you ain't interested in the damn fry. You all up in that. Get out of the car, man. Shit. The fuck? Me and my team, we've had a big week, so just get the fuck out of the car. Damn. What are you win? 350 I bet you a big Popeye chicken eating motherfucker, ain't you? Hey, hey. Get the fuck. I always got to get the big, thick motherfuckers. Get the car now. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let your win. All right, hold on. Now, now, this is some funny Stop. shit. Let me tell you how bad a day you're having. Right now, you're jacking a couple cops. Yeah, well, I'm a stand-up comedian, and I suck! That's why I need your car! Hey, look, now, I ain't no Wesley Snipes. I just hang out with stupid-ass friends and drive stupid-ass cars that attract a lot of motherfucking attention. You know what? I need to jump over this car and smack you in your peasy-ass head. That's what I need to do. Bro, you know what? You're arguing over motherfucking it's French It's not about some French fries. It's about your lack of respect for other people's property. Hey, 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 hey. Shut the fuck up! That shit is shut stupid! Shut up! Shut up. Hold the fuck on! All right, now, do something Jeffin. bad enough, come get some. Ah, you like that shit? Wesley Snipes, passenger 57. Now give me a motherfucking handy wipe. Now let's hear one of those jokes, bitch. Look out, boss, this ain't no ass. goddamn Denny's don't eat in my... I wouldn't be buying no shit from Denny's anyway. I don't like the way we've been treated. Hey, bitch, eh? let's get these food. Yeah, you ain't interested in the damn fry. You all up in that.
Come see why black incompetence is our funniest weapon in the war on terror. Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Freeze it. This... This isn't the Matrix. No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. We have survived by hiding from them, by running from them. But they are the gatekeepers. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, 
someone is going to have to fight them. Someone? I won't lie to you, Neil. Every single man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. But where they have failed, you will succeed. Why? I've seen an agent punch through a concrete wall. Men have emptied entire clips at them and hit nothing but air. Yet their strength and their speed are still based in a world that is built on rules. Because of that, they will never be as strong or as fast as you can be. What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? No, Neo. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. You got a guy running for the bus. There's another M6 right behind you. Hey! Waldorf men's room. You got it. Were you just staring at my legs while I slept? Yeah, I was defenseless against the small dress there. <laughs> it's a skirt. It's so. a belt. <laughs> what is it with you and the Argyle? What is the deal with you and the boring shades of blue? My clothes match. Did your team pick that out for you? Or? No team. Team is gone. Wow. Did it all by myself. I saw your speech. Yeah, the speech. Something must have got into me. Wow. That is something. Really <clears throat> augments the moment. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It doesn't even work. Could that ringer get any louder? Or do you I pretty know. much have that maxed out? <laughs> it's a new phone. Are you going to run again? Don't know. I'm starting a new job today. You have to run again. You can't do that. The country will end up being run by tools like Linfield. Kinda is. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, sorry. <laughs> what just happened? You sure you're okay? Yeah. Here, I'll pay for the dry cleaning. No, it's really fine. Please don't. Wow. Seven bucks will probably cover it. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that. You might need it. You know what? Here, you write your number down, and then I can call you and come pick up your skirt. Oh, my goodness me. That is very smooth. <laughs> Why don't you let me spill some on you and then we'll be even? That's a terrible idea. I think it's a great idea. Just for, one for, bit, because that's not fair. You actually are crazy. No, right now it all makes sense. Good. Okay, hang on. Oh, He's not here. I know. I'm sorry. Who was that? I don't know. Who cares? It'll be on the eye. Can you just. No. Okay, now we're in the third grade. This is great. Oh, God. It's a sturdy little fucker, isn't it? I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it just happened. Okay. Okay, that was a new phone. I'm Elise, by the way. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number. Terrific, thank you. I'll call you. 